Hello everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. Just in case we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a full body flow, so find a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today over in tabletop. So if you wanna come onto your hands and knees, and then we'll warm up our wrists a little bit here. So you can either keep your fingers pointing forwards and maybe adding some movement. It might, it might be a sway forwards and back. It might kind of be a half circle shape or a full circle shape. And you can actually turn your fingers to point out to the sides if you would like. And then you might even bring your hands a little closer together as long as you can keep your palms connected to the ground. Your forearms might lightly touch, spreading the fingers out wide. And then same thing, you could start to sway, maybe a little bit side to side, maybe a half circle shape, or maybe a full circle shape. But just warming up through the wrists a little bit, keeping the palms connected down, each and every finger maybe. And if you're doing a circle, just switch direction so you kind of even things out. And whatever feels good on your wrists, your forearms, even the shoulders. And then we're just gonna be coming off of our hands for a moment so you can lift up. You could come to standing on your knees or sitting back on your heels, but just free up your hands. You might even just let your wrists be completely Relax, let your hands just kind of dangle in front and then if you want to add a little bit of a shake, just let the wrist completely relax. And then you can start to make some fists and take some circles with your fists. Do a few circles in one direction and then a few circles in the other direction. And then let your fist go again. Let your wrist just be completely relaxed. Maybe a little shake of the hands of the wrists. And then we're gonna come down and onto our forearms. So just kind of come down, maybe onto the elbows first and then slide onto your forearms and you can actually go all the way onto your belly. Rest on the top of your feet. Bring your hands out just off of your mats, maybe onto your fingertips, kind of a ten and two on your clock. And then as you inhale, we're going to push the ground away, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, maybe even lift the chin up a little so you're looking straight forwards. Squeeze your back. And then slowly start to lower your chest down and then let an inhale bring you right back up. Squeeze everything and slowly lower. And let's do that one more time. Lift your chest for your cobra. Squeeze everything and then slowly relax back down. You might stack your palms for a moment as you relax through your glutes, your back your legs, you might take a gentle sway side to side. And then bring your hands under your shoulders when you're ready. We're gonna push ourselves back into our tabletop, onto our hands and knees, spread your fingers out wide again. Start to tuck your toes under and lift up into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to maybe pedal your feet a couple times. Push into your hands more. Let your head be heavy. Using an inhale, we're going to look forwards. As you exhale, walk your feet to the top of your mat. 
With an inhale, you can lift halfway up, bringing length into your spine. And exhale as you fold back down. Inhale, let's come all the way up to standing. Reaching up, maybe looking up too. As you exhale, let your arms fall down to your sides. Take a shoulder roll. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, start to fold all the way down. Take an inhale for a half lift. Exhale, folding forwards, planting your hands. We're going to step our feet back into downward facing dog. And you might walk your feet a little closer together. Take an inhale and lift your right foot up as high as you want to go. Maybe open it up, turn your belly button to the right side, maybe bend your knee. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, bring your right foot down next to the left one. And inhale your left foot up any amount or really high. Maybe turn your belly button to the left, maybe bend your knee too. Another inhale and an exhale to lower your foot down next to the right one. Take an inhale to look forwards. As you exhale, walk your feet to the top of your mat. Once you get there, inhaling for a half lift. And exhale to fold forwards. Let an inhale bring you all the way up to standing. Reach up. Exhale, letting your arms fall down to your sides at a shoulder roll if you want one. With an inhale, reach up again. Exhale, folding back down. Take an inhale as you lift halfway and exhale to fold. This time we're going to plant our hands and step our left foot back. You can drop your back heel down and then lift into warrior two. So lift your upper body, reach your arms out wide, widen your stance so you're solid, you're sturdy, you're balanced in your warrior two. You might look forwards over top of your middle finger. And then let's bring our right forearm down towards our quad. The left arm can start to reach up straight above you. Keep your legs kind of as they are and lift your upper body again back into your warrior two, reaching your arms out. And then take your front palm, flip it to face up and sweep it up above you as you lean back or reverse warrior. Let an inhale bring you back into your extended side angle. Right forearm to the quad, left arm straight up above or keep sweeping it forwards. Let another inhale bring you back up into your warrior two, palm up, reverse warrior. Awesome, you guys. This time, let's bring our hands all the way down to the ground. So spin your back heel up. Bring your hands down once you're in your lunge. Take an inhale to look forwards a little bit. And exhale, bring your back foot to the top. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale all the way up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, let your arms fall down to your sides. Maybe a shoulder roll if you want one. Big inhales, you reach up again. And exhale, folding forwards. Take an inhale into your half lift. Exhale as you fold, we're going to plant our hands, our right foot's going to come back, drop your heel, and then lift into your warrior two. Adjust your feet if needed, reach your arms out wide, find your breath, your balance, your nice warrior two. Then our left forearm's going to come forwards to our quad. Your right arm can reach right up above you, maybe look up too. Go ahead and spread your fingers wide if you want. Maybe your legs can stay as they are as you inhale and lift your upper body back into warrior two. Front palm can turn to face up, sweeping those fingertips up above as you lean back for your reverse warrior, maybe feeling a nice side stretch. Let an inhale bring you all the way back into your extended side angle. Left arm to the quad. Right arm reaching up, maybe even over. Look to your fingertips. And then let an inhale bring you all the way back up. Warrior two, palm up, lean back. Reverse warrior. 
Let a big inhale bring you all the way back up. Exhale, plant your hands. Spin the heel, ending up in a lunge. With an inhale, look forwards. And exhale, bring your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale as you take a half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, lower your arms to your side. Shoulder roll if you want one more shoulder roll. Inhale as you reach up again. And exhale as you fold forwards. Inhale, find a half lift. As you exhale, fold, plant your hands, take your feet back into downward facing dog. Pushing into your hands. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, let's lower our knees down to our mat. Crossing your ankles. Have a seat. Legs out in front. You might pause and give your knees a little bit of a hug, a rock side to side. And then we are going to be extending our right leg out long. Pointing the toes up, the left foot can find the inner thigh. Bringing some length into your spine. You might stay sitting tall, you might tip forward. And then a few options. You can stay here. You could lift back up. And maybe take a twist. Turn your chest towards the left. Maybe push your hands into the ground. Keep pointing your right toes up. A twist. You can stay here. We could also plant our left hand and try to lift our hips up and off of the ground. So if you want to follow with me, plant your left hand. We're going to lift our hips. You're going to roll onto your left shin the right foot, and then you're just going to reach and stretch with your right arm in whatever direction feels good. This might be a nice big side stretch, full body stretch. Push the ground away, reach and stretch. Stay for an inhale and let the exhale bring you back down, lowering the hips and then find that twist where we started. Somehow I've moved off my mat. Lengthen your spine. Take your chest to turn to face forwards. Point your right toes up. And then maybe fold if you would like to fold. Just another breath here. And then an inhale can bring you back up. We can bring our legs back together for a moment before we switch sides. Just take a short, sweet break. And then your left leg is going to start to go out long. Right foot to the inner thigh. Start by facing your left foot, pointing your toes up. Maybe you will be folding forwards. Maybe you'll be staying here the whole time. And if you do want to move into the twist to start, lift on up, turn your chest towards the right, maybe. Touch your fingertips down, lengthen through the spine. Point your left toes up. Staying here or planting the right hand and lifting your hips up. Roll onto your right shin. Try to push into your left foot and reach and stretch with your left arm too. Push the ground away. Reach. Stretch. Stay for another inhale and let the exhale slowly, slowly bring you back down. Back into the twist maybe to start. Where are you on your mat now? Lengthening through the spine. And then you can start to turn to face forwards. Adjust if you did shift around a little bit like I did. Stay sitting tall or if you want a moment to fold forwards, take a moment. Letting an inhale bring you back up when you're ready. Your legs can come back together. You might give them a little hug or a squeeze, maybe a rock side to side.
And then we are going to be seated still. So if you want to just find a comfortable seat where maybe you can rest your hands, your fingertips on the floor beside you, you might let your eyes close. Let your shoulders fall from your ears. Find some length through your spine and just notice how you are feeling in this moment. And then we're going to start to reach our arms out wide, out to the sides. Lift your fingertips up, spread your fingers wide as they lift up, 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 all the way above you. And once they maybe touch one another, interlace the fingers. Turn your palms to face up, shrug your shoulders to your ears, create as much length through your upper body as you can. You might even be lifting your chin. You might be pushing your sit bones down into the ground a little to lengthen the spine more. Stay for a nice inhale. And as you exhale, let your arms slowly fall all the way to the ground. Spread the fingers wide as they lower, 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 all the way until the fingertips lightly rest on the ground beside you. And then lengthen the spine again, or maybe it is already nice and long, but a moment to soften the shoulders and the forehead and the rest of the face. Just notice how you are feeling again. Sometimes all it takes is 20 minutes of movement to feel so much lighter. A little burst of energy, maybe. Joy. <laughs> if you did want to start to move your hands back to your knees, your lap, or maybe they will come together in front of your heart, your chest. Hmm. <sighs> We will end our practice here today. But feel free to lay down and enjoy a few moments in Shavasana. Or stay seated a little longer. But thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. Until next time, namaste.